What's good, beautiful people? What is good? Welcome back to the channel with your truly, of course, Machiavelli. And today we are back with another Sims 4 speed build. And today's speed build, we're actually, sorry, if you hear video games, my brother's playing video games in the next room, so don't mind. Don't mind that. But today we're back with another episode, well, no, not episode, another, I guess it's an episode, another episode of quarantine. You know what that means? Stay inside, be antisocial, don't go talk to, actually, you can go, you don't have to be antisocial, but you know, be introvert, stay inside, be to yourself, and be safe while we get to the pandemic. Bam bam, another episode. What was that? Bam bam, but it was another episode of Quarantine Diaries or the Quarantine Diaries, whatever it's called. We back with it. But anyway, so other than that, um, we're back with another modern house build, and this actually is a three layer, three layered, um, a three tier, three tier, three floored modern house. It's really cool. I know I saw it. I thought it was cool. I built it. I will put a disclaimer that I did not furnish the house, um, because. I was very focused on building the backyard out. I know, right? Crazy. Because I, if you guys know my bolts, I personally just put like a bush around there, put a fence up and call it a day. Why am I getting tired? I was, I was doing so good. I don't know what it is. But when I come in here and talk to you guys, I start feeling drowsy. I start feeling tired. Don't know why, but I'm going to get I'm gonna get through this. But anyways, so um, my main goal for this was I wanted to build the outside. I wanted the triple layer. I thought it looked cool. But then I also, because um, think, because I'm pretty sure I told you guys this, but I'm actually doing a personal build. And the person that I'm building their build out, they wanted me to, like, deck out the backyard. And if you guys, don't, if you guys know, I don't do backyards. I, <laughs> I don't do a lot of things, you know? But you want to know, I'm not that good of a builder. I actually, like, thinking about it now... I just, I don't think I'm that great of a builder. I think there's way better out there other than me. But, um, yeah, I don't really do the backyards that much. I don't do the front yard that much. I don't really put that much, like, you know, detail into it. And so, um, when he messaged me, the person, I hear, I hear she, I have no clue if it's a guy or girl. But, um, anyways, when they messaged me, they told me that they wanted a decked out backyard, you know, with a pool, a bar, um, they also wanted, like, you know, a decked out house. And so I'm, like, thinking there yesterday. So last night, I literally stayed up for, like, I stayed up, yeah, I stayed up for, um, let's see, how much hours? One, two, three, four, five, four, f five hours. Five hours, yeah, well, five hours. I stayed for five hours finishing up this build. I started it, then I deleted it because it didn't look right, and then I started it again, and then I built it, and then I didn't like it, so I deleted it again. I started this, like, three times, and then I deleted it, and then I started it, and I completed it, and I did it, and it came out so well, bro. It was, I, I will say, though, like, I wish I could show you it. The person that I did make it for does not want me to record it, so I didn't record it, so I can't show you guys. But, um, it had to be the best backyard I have ever made. Ever. In my life. Like, when I was done with it, I, you know what, like I said before, I said this before, but you know when you, like, build something or make something or, you, like, you cook something and you, and you plate the food and it just looks so pretty? So you just stare at it, even though you want to eat it, you just stare at it. That's what happens. I, I, I made this build, and after I was done making the build, I just looked at I just I just literally stopped. I just looked at my creation. I was like, it looks stunning. So hopefully they like it. I'm actually going to send it to them today. Um, I'm actually going to send it while I'm editing this. Send it to them, see if they like it, edit it, and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, it was the best backyard I've ever made. It, it looked so nice. It looked so lush. It had, like, a patio area. A lounge area, a jacuzzi area. It had like this uh, floating deck on top of the pool. It's, it, remember, like you're gonna see the deck that I made. I pretty much made the deck, um, not the exact same deck, but I made the floating deck in this build. You know, I don't know. I, I found out about this skill yesterday because I was figuring out like what I was gonna do for the backyard. I was having so much trouble with the backyard, um, and then I was like, you know what I'm gonna do? Because she wanted a pool. I wanted to look something cool, right? I wanted it to be a cool pool. And so I went on Google and I searched some stuff and I found this really cool tutorial on how to make like these floating decks. It's like, let me just add a floating deck in there. And I think it came out very nicely. And so I went ahead and I made it. Um, and it, it turned out so nice. And like, I can't, I'm, I'm praising myself so much because I, like, I know when I do a good job and I did such a good job. Um, with this build, I, tr I didn't really recreate it. I tried to do something fun, like something, like it was one of the examples that in the video she showed me um of how to make i thought it looked cool so i said you know i'll go ahead and test it out on this build so i remade it and i don't like sorry for the yawn but sorry for that yawn but i don't truly like this one more like the other the other backyard i think the other backyard was just stunning this backyard is good it's, it's a level up level up level up. it's a level up from what i normally make definitely 
But I don't know, the, back, the, the other back hair was just stunning. Like, it, it was special. It meant something. But anyways, so hopefully the person likes it. But, um, yeah, again, if you, again, let, let, me, just, let me just drop in a little plug. Again, if you guys want me to make you a custom, <laughs> if y'all want me, okay, serious, serious voice. If y'all want me to make you a custom build, go ahead and send me an email down below. And we'll talk. I had to, <laughs> anyways, moving on from that cring cringiness. Um, what shall we talk about today on quarantine diaries like i said we've all been quarantined i have nothing really to talk about nothing at all like i have nothing i can't even remember stuff in my past that i want to talk about like i am running out of things to talk about. like honestly if y'all want to hear me ramble i know i'm just gonna ramble this part because let, let's just do it because <laughs> Y'all love like hearing me ramble, so we're gonna ramble. So let's go. So what I have been doing though is I've been watching TV. So um, I watch TV shows tonight. I'm actually gonna go ahead and um, this one watch. I'm gonna start JoJo's Adventures tonight, which I'm super super excited for. Um, I never had the chance to do it, and since you know quarant hashtag quarantine life, I got time. Literally after April the 17th, I'm gonna have so much free time on my hands. After April 17th, I'll be done my last year of college, and I'll be graduating. Well, no, I'll have to get a job first and then I'll graduate. But anyways, I'll be done that so I'll have no more homework and so I'll have all this time to watch and pretty so much, we're so, like, this whole place will be under, I'm pretty sure in Ontario at least, we're going to be under quarantine until the latest, like the earliest that we can probably get out, which is like, I highly doubt it. I'm no, I know they canceled a bunch of stuff in, um, they canceled a bunch of stuff until like June the 30th. So like, I think we're all free, for at least Canada wise, we're free like, Canada Day, which is July the first, but I'm pretty sure after I'm done, which is I'm pretty sure not gonna they're not gonna create a cure. Well, they might. Hopefully they do. Like if they do, hallelujah. Um, cause I said I love I love state. I love my house. I really do. But sometimes I just want to go to. I want to. You don't understand how bad I want to leave my house, go to Toronto, have my. Oh Jesus Christ! my heart my heart my heart listen i get scared so easily that you should have my heart seized up i'm like what is that sorry that's my alarm if you're wondering why i have alarm like in midday it's because i have a class well i used to have a class that started at like well i had started at like three o'clock so i had to leave here at like 1 30 so that alarm will go off telling me i have to leave my house i can turn it off now but i keep forgetting to do that so every time 1 30 hits i keep on getting that alarm and it scares the bejeebas out of me and i haven't turned it off yet i don't know maybe it's nice to know that it's 1 30 in the afternoon but um anyways yeah there's that i'm sorry for that if that, if that scared any of you guys too then <laughs> there y'all go a little scare fest that honestly scared the bejeebers out of me. Oh my god! I was taking, I was taking my dog out, I was taking Moke out for a walk, and and like I was walking, and it went off again. I had another alarm, and it scared me. Like these alarms are, I, and of course I choose the most loudest, obnoxious alarms. Like I remember, I, I wish I had the other one. I had like, okay, quick question, question of the day. What's the weirdest alarm you'll have had? What's the weirdest alarm you have had? I have a story for you guys. I'm pretty sure I told you guys this story before, but I'm going to tell you guys again um, for the new people because I haven't told the story in a while. But anyways, what's the weirdest alarm you have had on your phone to wake you up? Mine was a screaming girl. Like, I mean, screaming, bloody murder girl as my, not my ringtone, but as my alarm. Like, I, I would wake up from, like, I would wake up to go to school, like, in cold sweats <laughs> or no i just like i'd wake up like frantic because i'd hear a girl screaming but guess what it would wake me up because sometimes i put on like because sometimes i have like the soft ones and the and the soothing ones and that just as you know i love asmr and that just puts me straight back to sleep that doesn't help me wake up even though like i'll wake up for like five seconds like i have a habit <laughs> of not remembering things so i like last night actually my I, I told my mom to wake me up like an hour because I like I, I, I told you this before but my sleeping schedule is terrible I had class and I was extremely extremely exhausted so we had like an hour before class I was like mom wake me up an hour 
<laughs> before um, class starts. And she's like, okay, I'll go to sleep. So I go to sleep, and then I wake up at 8 p.m. But here's a catcher. My mom tells me that I actually attended that class. I don't remember that. My mom said I was at my desk because um, the class, I went to bed at like 10.30 and my class was 11.30. My mom said she came down here at 11.45 and I was at my computer desk writing like, I was at my computer desk chilling um, on my computer desk. I, I have no, she, she doesn't know what I was doing, but I was on my computer desk and she's like, are you going to class? She's like, class. Um, she's like, she's like, yeah, I'm going to class. But bro, I can't remember that. Like honestly, all, last thing I remember was me putting my head down at like, I don't know at like uh, yeah at like 10 30 and then me getting up at eight o'clock i think i got up at like one but then i just i i think i think what happened was i remember me going back to sleep but i don't remember me getting up i really don't i don't remember it and, and to like it's, it happens to be so much times where i will go to sleep like i'll be extremely exhausted i'll go to sleep I wake up at a certain time and find out that I was doing something like I, I did something and I went back to sleep. Has that ever happened to you? Because it happens to me all the time. I feel like I have this like blank out stage <laughs> when I'm so tired that I blank out and I forget everything because it's still kind of creepy. Because my mom's like, she came downstairs. I was like, I, I, was, no, I was creeped out because she said she literally said she came downstairs. I was on a computer desk and I can't remember being on the computers. All I remember was me going to sleep and waking up on my bed. That's it. I don't remember. No computer desk stuff. Anyways, there's that. What was I talking about again? Sleeping schedules. Oh, yeah. So, what's the creepy alarm? So, I had a creepy girl, bloody murder. Bloody murder. And so, that was my alarm. And so, anyways, I had that for my phone and I had that for my tablet. So, one day, I had this one class, which was a glorious class. I think it was like home economics. I don't know what it was. But it's pretty much was like a home daycare thing where first course was like um in class work where we learned about um um how child care and daycares and and just just child care and then the second half we actually actually run a daycare it was actually really cool um so in the first half so i was in a girl i was i was a no i wasn't a girl <laughs> i wasn't a girl but different story different time <laughs> Uh, I can't even say get out of the gutter because my head is in the gutter. It's deep in the, it, my, my head is planted in that gutter, but moving on. But, um, <laughs> okay, but moving on. Um, like I said, so pretty much what happened was I was in a class with all girls, stunning girls, like stunning. It was, it was, it was one of the best moments of my life. All great girls. I wasn't, I wasn't, I don't say I was attracted. I was talking to one of them, Michaela. Michaela was so effing hot. Oh my God. She had a boyfriend at the time though. Rip. But she was so hot. I know people say, all oh, because she has a boyfriend doesn't like, what, what, what's that saying? All oh, because there's a goalie doesn't mean you can't score. I get it. But listen, I don't run that way because if someone was like talking to my girl, you know, I believe in karma and I feel like you going after a taken person is bad karma. But I'll get into that right now. But anyways, moving on from that. Plus, why would I want someone that cheats, you know? What, what's that, what, like, I don't get that. People always say, oh, like, pe like, I don't understand what people say that, like, I don't understand what people go for somebody that's taken, and then they get, they go for someone that's taken, they get the, they get, they get the, they get the person that was, you know, seeing somebody else, and then down the line, they realize that the person that they cheated with to get is cheating on them, like, right, like, why, how are you surprised? Like, they cheated <laughs> on their significant other to get with you. What's stopping them from cheating on you with somebody else, you know? Anyways. So, yeah, that's why I've never had the thing of, like, going after somebody that's taken because I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say once a cheater, always a cheater. But, like, you know, it, <laughs> uh, anyways, moving on from that. But I have no clue even gone to. Oh, crud. It's 14 minutes. I didn't even get to the story. Um, okay, I'll, I'll finish in the next part. <laughs> see? Rambling. But anyways, guys, hope you all enjoyed this part. Thank you all so much for watching. And, of course, I'll see you in the next one. I'm out. Peace. Bye. Later. Love you all. Bye, guys.